having a have some coffee note the uh the brute force explorer sticker swag hit me up on instagram if you want a sticker and i will send you one there you go peace hey all welcome back to the channel today we are at the halifax rv and uh motorsports show um i'm just going to show you a little uh little sample of what's inside all right so we're inside now and this is what we see here So let's have a boo and see what we got. So we've got some Husqvarna stuff here. Some Husqvarna awesomeness actually. This is the Norden model. I could see myself on that if I didn't already have a V-Strom. Got some dirt bikes. We got those uh, Vit Plans 401. They uh, they look like a like a fun bike, fun in the uh, in the sense of uh, you could grom it like uh, you had a little Honda Grom kind of thing, but uh, yeah, that's a little expensive just to, to buy on a whim because that is sixty nine hundred bucks. So yeah, here's another sweet bike, a Super T. Looks like it's all geared up. What's used? Or does it? I could see myself on one of these too. Okay, so we are at the section with the Brew Forces, so let's have a little peek. We got the 2023 KVF 300, which is the Brute Force 300 for the kids in your family or the small adults. And we have the 2023 Brute Force 750 and I really 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 like this color it's like a digicam I kind of don't like the uh, the neon the neon um, racks but uh, it kind of is what it is uh, it looks like there's been absolutely no changes whatsoever to this uh, to this platform as per the past you know 10 years or so 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 yeah so these are the brutes for 2023 okay another bit of the cowie lineup is the t-rex 4s which is massive it's absolutely massive and then we have the krx 1000 trail edition this is pretty sick this is actually really sick there's Mrs. Bruce. Wow, we look at that. And that is going for thirty three nine ninety four plus tax, freight, PDI, and all the other bullshit taxes and fees that they put on so yeah let's show you a few more bikes from the cowie line up here this is a z650 got a vulcan 900 and that's a 400 sport bike got a klx 300 this would be fun supermoto here you like the same and klr 650 but you know what? You're almost better off just buy it with bags. It doesn't look like this platform's changed over the past 30 years, so yeah. Oops, excuse me. Another KLR 650. This one looks like it's got some aftermarket gear on it. Got some serious floodlights. I wonder what make they are. Oh, they're Kawasaki OEM, so that's pretty cool. This, eh, a KLR with hard bags is, uh, I don't know, man. I'd still ride it though. And then we have the dirt bikes, KX450, KX250X, KLX300R. 
Now we are at the Honda lineup. Honda, 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 Honda. Sorry. Got the Africa Twins. Shout out to my boy Maritimer. Oh, Lace. The pièce de résistance of the Honda lineup, the Grom. Let's see what I look like on it. All right, folks, so yeah, I'm on a Honda Grom right now, and you're gonna see me around on one of these maybe this summer. So, yep, yeah, looks like a bear on a circus bike, and that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Great, I'll get it for your friends. Here's something similar to the Grom it's a Honda Navi, which is a. What is it? 109 cc pretty sick the rest of the Honda lineup dirt bikes dirt bikes I'd be scared I'd upset it if I what's this this is a versus I think it's used yeah so it's a 2019 versus so I think that's probably a demo Got a KDM, Honda 500X, and Suzuki King Quad. What stock? This is like the uh, the bike that got into that accident that the guy cried about uh, up in Ontario. The guy cried about uh, his. Uh, paint getting scratched and uh, wanted the guy's insurance that, that bumped into him on the trail. What do we got here now? Wow, what's this? What is this? You're probably like just suggested it. CSXS GT. That looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna see if we don't get it. I wonder what the specs are on it. I'll have to uh, put a link in the description down below for what the specs are on this, but it is sexy. Here we go with the V-Strom. And this is the 800 DE, which is, uh, it's got more juice than, uh, I think it's the 800. It can't be the 800. Yeah, this is a V-Strom 650, so this is similar to what I ride. Um, you can see it's got the OEM Suzuki boxes on the side. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of V-Stroms, this is what a V-Strom looks like in the crate from the factory. Very cool, cool stuff. So here we have another example of the 2023 Brute Force 750. Uh, same paint scheme as the other place we looked at. Same, uh, same nasty neon green uh, racks, but it is what it is. I see that they still have the uh, absolutely unacceptable Duro balloon tires that our 2021s had. And the price here is... 13899 Canadian, which is not that far off what we paid two years ago. I think we paid uh, 12 something and change, but then there's all the taxes and fees and admin stuff. Wow, we Cali Mule Pro. That's pretty incredible. Okay. What's this? That's pretty cool. So we have Cowie's offering uh, Z1, Z125, the uh, the Honda Grom competitor, which is kind of kind of sweet. Sweet 690 Enduro R for KTM. Wouldn't I like to get my mitts on one of those? And this, I don't even know what model this is but it looks absolutely amazing. I love me my ADV bikes. It's KTM 890 Adventure R. Bunch of gas gas bikes there. 
Ooh, there's the 890 Duke GP. That's a hooligan bike if I ever saw one. What's that? Oh my god. That's a 1290 Super Duke. That looks like it's something out of a out of a space movie. Got some KTM dirt bikes, KTM dirt bikes. So I am in the APD Motorsports uh, area. They are a Triumph dealership now. And they have the most amazing bikes and more importantly, the most amazing customer service and mechanics. This guy here, Adrian Bolton, He's the only guy I let touch my stuff. My motorcycles, my ATVs, my lawnmower, anything. If it's got a motor, this guy fixes it. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the Triumph Awesomeness. Oh, I'd love to get my, get my hands on a Bonneville. Get on that, drive across the country. Tiger ADV GT Pro, Tiger 900. These are all things that tri Tiger 1200. Just imagine that. Get, you know, it's all good, man. Get your mitts on that thing. Drive across the country. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Speed Triple RR 1200. That thing is just a monster. Hey Lisa, how you doing? Oh, Look at this thing. This is absolutely insane. I remember when these first yeah. came out, they were yeah. the VMAX killer. They were the bike that uh, they were the bike that that um competed with the VMAX, which was a monster bike back in the day. And look at that, it's 2.5 liter six cylinder engine. Or th is it six cylinder or three cylinder? I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, six cylinder engine, looks like. Very similar to what was the Honda Valkyrie back in the day. So yeah. We're at the Canmac Motorsports, which is the local CF Moto dealership. This is a C-Force 1000. Look at the size of the tires on that. That thing must have a monster clutch. That's, cra that's crazy big for the size, for, for really. I see it's got a rad relocation kit. I don't know if that comes stock or... Uh, I don't know if that rad relocation kit comes stock on these CF motos or not, but uh, <laughs> C4 600 touring, 800 XC. These offerings, these uh, these side by sides look pretty decent, actually. I've seen the, I've seen some on the trail, but none really ripping hard. Here's some more. There's a C Force 400. Look at that! It's got a dump bed. That's that's a U Force 800. And this looks like a fully enclosed fully enclosed cabin on a on a CF moto. That's pretty incredible. Never fails. We found it. We found it. We found the one. This is a U Force 1000. The plow kit. Fully, fully enclosed cabin on all of these. It's uh, it's pretty cool. We got the Z Force 950 high output EX with neon lights. 
ready to uh, to be Instagram famous. <laughs> Do your front end front end Fridays. This is actually hilarious looking. Got another view of the KLR 650, which apparently hasn't changed in another in about 20 years. Nothing's changed on these. They're the same. They're pretty much the same bike as they used to be, so they just look pretty and have boxes that will break off the first drive. So, yeah. so this is the second room. You can tell it's a guy, belt guy. How you doing, belt guy? Hey, hey, I know you. hey what's how up, you man? How you doing? Know? Holy shit, that's Mike. This is, uh, hold on, let me give a shout out to Brute, uh, Brute Force Explorer. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. You want a sticker? Yeah, uh, you sent me some in the mail, but I haven't been riding. Oh. There you go. Give me a ride. What happened to your bike? Something happened? Uh, nothing. I just been so. That a boy. Oh. Good to see you. Dude, try one of these on, man. Well, try one of these on. Look, borrow a hat. Straight up from Australia. Here, give that a shot. Give that a shot. Show your fans. Sounds good. That looks pretty sick on me. It does look pretty sick on me. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Barbara Lynn's Gifts and Crafts. I'm going to throw it out there. Say it again. Barbara Lynn's Gifts and Crafts. Got a URL or uh, any contact information? 902-443-6208 uh, if you want anything from our table. There you go. And he's got lots of nice wallets and belt buckles. Oh, he's got belt buckles. <laughs> Let me look at the belt Thank buckles. You. Here we are at the local Harley uh, dealership. Sweet trikes and crazy street glides. Zach, you can't fall off that one. This is one of their uh, Pan America Special ADV bikes. And is it chain? It's actually chain driven, which is awesome. No rocks under belts. Got lots of Harley eye candy here. Got some nice baggers. Twenty twenty three street glides, forty one thousand dollars. The vendors. How you doing? Oh, I've had what do we got here? But he's doing the film already. The yeah, no, <laughs> no. I'm not gonna see you, bro. Yeah. I'll try just a little tiny bit. Thanks, man. What did uh, uh, Alex say? He says, "Oh, you never even filmed it." Like, you <laughs> really? Like, That's good. What? You look good. Have you were you watching that? Yeah. That guy that got life, two life senses? No, I didn't. For killing his wife? I saw the headline, but I didn't see it. I was enthralled with that in the last two weeks. I bet. I've been on it with you two, and I just couldn't get enough. They were good. Okay, so we got some Yamaha stuff here. Lots and lots of dirt bikes. We got this crazy looking R-Max Wolverine Edition. Fully enclosed. Look, it's even got glass windows fully enclosed that's a Yamaha R-Max uh, clocking in at 57 million 34 it's a R spec whatever that means this is a Liberty CC booth let's see what buggies they have here they got some Grizzlies that actually look like they come with decent tires. So as you can see, um, you see me complain about Brute Forces having absolute shit tires. Look what Yamaha Grizzlies offer, ITP Blackwaters. And this is the Grizzly EPS. That's clocking in at 21, $21,000. Got a Kodiak 700 here. Really? Oh, yeah. 
lots of MT09s, MT10s. Got a Super T. No, that's a T7. Looks nice. Very similar to, uh, more off-road oriented than the, uh, the V-Strom that I ride. this xsr 900 that looks like a fun little bike does that look like a fun little bike mrs it, Burt? it does yeah it does doesn't it and we got kodiak 450 this is very similar this is very similar to the uh the first atv we owned it was a uh, kodiak 400 i think it was it was good enough to get the get the taste of taste of ATVing in my mouth, which uh, look at where we are now. What is this? Wow, that looks decent. A Viking. This is a Yamaha Viking EPS clocking in at thirty three four oh nine. So it's got the self-enclosed cabins, which would be if I had a if I had a side by side, I'd be I'd be a, a, a pussy and actually want to have a self-enclosed cabin, absolutely. Because if you got a side by side, you might as well you might as well close it in. I don't know if it's got heat or not, but here's the inside of it. And that's that, Jack. Oh my God, it's a Suron. This is exactly what I need in my life. I need one of these, I need one of these, I need one of these so bad. Oh, these things rip so hard. There are guys uh, that have moto vlog channels that, uh, that rock these and this is the this is the bee's knees of, uh, of e-bikes, folks. It's a Suron. They absolutely, absolutely rip. I don't know. It's it's a bit small for a big dude like myself, but uh, yeah, Suron. Yeah. Outlander 850 XMR. Uh, got a bunch of Vespa stuff. Got the 850 V Twin XT. Uh, what's this thing? This is one of the Defenders XT. And this looks like a CF Moto Z Force 800 Trail. Got some more CF Moto stuff. More CF Moto stuff. This is the U4 600. Have a little peek inside. That is an 800 trail. I sat into that one in it. They're pretty well appointed uh, vehicles. Look at these rims. Look how thin those things look. I have no idea what this thing is, but it sure is pretty. It's a Wildcat, Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000. Man, a lot. This looks pretty dope, this one here. It's got a storage in the back. Ground clearance for days. Uh, we have an Arctic Cat Altera 450. Look at this thing. Like, I just buy a Jeep, people. Look at the look at the wheelbase on this the wheelbase is like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. it's got like a 10 foot wheelbase which is absolutely insane arcticat prowler pro that is something else golf cart conversion coming soon we got the big daddy of the bike I ride. The, this is his 1050 V-Strom. Um, 
I am one of the people that are on the fence as to whether you need a 1050 or a 650. The 650s are much more flickable. Um, they are better off-road. But if you're just doing highway droning, this would be it. Okay, so I had one of these um, before I had my V-Strom. Actually, I traded this bike in for my V-Strom 650. Uh, this is a Suzuki M109R, which is absolutely mental. It's got torque for days, days and days and days. Um, it corners like a Halifax City bus due to the 240 rear tire on it. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a fun bike. I, I wonder if they fixed the, uh, they had a notorious second gear issue that uh, the second gear would go out on it. It, but uh, hopefully for 2023 they fix that. This is the M109R Boss. You would have to absolutely uh, change out the stock exhaust. I had some monster exhaust on mine. I forget what it was, but uh, yeah, M109R, bringing me back a little. So Mrs. Brute point, pointed these bikes out. She likes them because they're white. This is a C50T. And this is a SV650. So this has the same, this SV650 has the same power plant that uh, my V-Strom 650 has. I don't know if it's got different gearing or not, but, uh, but yeah. All right, we're back to a what the hell is this moment. So there is a bike, this one right here. It's called a Target 600 EPS. So I'm not sure what this is all about, but it looks uh, it looks pretty sick. It's uh, look here's a two up TGB blade 600 LT, and this this actually looks I don't know if it's Chinese or what but it looks like it's hitting the market similar to what CF Moto did a few years back. Yeah, like, I don't know what to say because I've never heard of these. This is a TGB Blade 1000 LT. So, it's a 1,000cc V-twin, 83 horsepower, CVT transmission, uh, 16,499. And honestly, I don't know a thing about this brand of bike, but it looks good. Um, yeah. Got some more CF Moto stuff. Uh, Razor 1000, four seater. Looks pretty sweet. How you doing? Good. Wow, that's amazing. This is similar to uh, to Cody from your local Sender's bike, but this is a four seater, and it's a one thousand. So it looks pretty sick. And we have one of Halifax Regional Police Harley Davidsons. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. He ain't catching me. Oh boy, look what we have here. <laughs> we have bagels and what's... No, what they're pretzels. Pretzels. We have the traditional oh, yes. salted pretzel. We have a cheese and garlic pretzel. Yes. And oh, cheese and garlic. And we have a salt pretzel that's cinnamon and sugar. Oh. Look at those cinnamon buns. Nice oh <laughs> my. That's what she was saying. The goodness there. All right, here we are, folks. We are here with Stunt 902 and your local senders, my boy Cody and his boy Martin. Martin, how you doing? Good. So these guys are doing shows here, uh, stunt shows, which I'll unfortunately not be around today for. But I just wanted to stop by and check out their booth when you get here. Stunt 902, your local senders. We do look something like that. These guys rip hard. Like, like mental shit. And 
And yeah, these guys also ride Groms and I'm gonna buy a Grom, so see you soon. Got some nice Yamaha stuff, uh, Tracer 900. Uh, got an R3, that's a, that's a, these are R3s, these, these 300 cc sport bikes are, are physically much bigger than, physically much bigger than I thought they would be. Um, like it's, like, it's big enough that it's, it's actually like real motorcycle size. And, and I know that sounds funny, but if you compare the size of this 1090, physically like the physical footprint of it compared to this r3 it's kind of almost the same which is which is pretty pretty decent so yeah and the same thing the same thing with this mt03 its footprint is almost the same as the mt07 and mt09 which is it's pretty cool i see uh have a used Polaris here for sale. Is it used? I don't know. If, yes, it is used. And then we have some more side by sides. We got a Wildcat XT Trail. It's inside there. We have a Yamaha Wolverine 850. This is a used X as well. Got a bunch of gas gas dirt bikes. Can-Am 250. Little tiny Renegades. Little gas gas 50s. Yeah, so that's the gas gas stuff all through there. Very cool. We got a Can-Am Outlander Max XT. If I was to actually buy a Can-Am, it would be something similar to this. Another bike from Shore Cycle. Wow, what is this? What is this thing? 2020 Yamaha Venture. This is new. This is pretty insane. I would love to get my mitts on this thing. And And we got a 2019 used. 1000 R X Y Z. That's pretty sick. It's in real good shape. Giant tires on it. Paddle shift. Man, it'd be fun to get your mitts on this thing. Yeah, that's a monster. Someday. All right, folks, there you have it. We are done. Um, we are now exiting. And uh, yeah, it was a good show. Lots of uh, lots of sneak peeks of uh, new bikes, new buggies, new side-by-sides, new everything. And don't forget that if you are here this weekend, go look at Stunt 902. Uh, in the Goodwood room, they are so. If you missed that. You got the chance of watching it at one of four p.m. And uh, I'm hoping Cody will give me a little snippet of. Uh, actually, just a sec here. Let's just have a peek in here and see what they have to offer. This is where they do their. Uh, this is where they do their stunting. Uh, you can see all the stunt bikes way over there. Uh, this is where they rip around and uh, so it's stunt902.com check their shit because uh, they are the beasts of stunting in Nova Scotia peace like share subscribe